Hello everyone, my name is That Camping Guy. I am a trucking ambassador as well as an American truck sim and farming sim streamer on Twitch. I'm also the owner of the virtual truck company Full Send Inc. The video today is going to cover how to use Truckee's new job creation and sharing tool called Dispatcher, as well as how to use the new teleport features. The starting point for the tutorial assumes you already downloaded the Truckee overlay. If you happen to be viewing this video and do not already have Truckee installed, please click on the link that pops up in the corner or click on the link in the description below for my short video on how to install the overlay. Please note that the progress bar is segmented into chapters so you can read the chapter title and skip to what you need. There's also a list of chapters in the description area below. You can also visit truckeeapp.com forward slash KB for a knowledge base concerning all things Truckee. That's it for the intro. Let's get started with step one. Step one setting quick keys and disabling the cloud save. I will be using American Truck Sim through Truckers MP for the examples going forward, but the directions are exactly the same for ATS and ETS2, single player and multiplayer. First, we need to set two quick keys and disable the cloud save. If you have used another save edit program before, then you probably have a quick save and quick load button set and your cloud save disabled. So you can go ahead and skip to the creating freight or cargo market jobs chapter. Otherwise, select edit profile. If you have a silver check mark here, you will need to uncheck the box and then click OK and then apply. If you get an error that says profile migration failed, you will need to jump to the disabled cloud save help section near the end of the video. Now we need to set the quick save and quick load keys. Click options and then keys and buttons and then drag the slider on the right all the way to the bottom. And the quick save and quick load buttons will be the first two on the top row. In the secondary column, set quick save as keypad number one and quick load as number two. Close out the option screen and select continue game. Step two, welcome to the dispatcher. Truckee always needs a current save before creating or importing a load or teleporting. Go ahead and hit your quick save button. Please note, the dispatcher can use any save. However, it is recommended that you use the quick save to ensure the right file is selected every time. Now press Alt plus D. Welcome to the dispatcher screen. Select OK, I understand, on the warning screen. The game, profiles, and saves box should autofill. <coughs> Warning, this save box should load your most recent save. However, an autosave can occur between you hitting the quick save button or creating a manual save. Always check this box to make sure it has your most recent save, whether that's a quick save or a manual save. Moving forward, the import dispatch box is where you paste the job or shared position unique ID, which we will discuss in the import dispatch chapter. Under the save box are three tabs. The delivery management tab is used to create jobs. The position tab is where the teleport magic happens. And the latest jobs created tab shows you 10 random community jobs and your 10 previously created jobs. Here you can click on the icon at the end of the row to import any job you see and add it to your list. And back on the delivery management tab, we have the freight market, which gives you a cargo and a trailer and the cargo market tab, which supplies you the cargo and you use your own trailer. Next, we will talk about creating and sharing jobs. Step 3A, creating freight and cargo market jobs. If you have skipped to this step, please ensure that you make a current save. Press Alt plus D to open the dispatcher. Make sure you're on the freight market tab under delivery management. Then select your source and destination city and company. The teleport at location button is only available to Truckee Premium users as denoted by the golden star. This feature has not yet been publicly released, but it is coming in the near future. Turning this button on will teleport your truck to the first company in your job list when you load your quick save. Continuing on, select the cargo you wish to deliver from this drop down menu. You choose what type of trailer you wish to pull in the trailer definition drop down. The trailer variant drop down is used for changing the appearance of trailers in ETS2, such as lift axles and colors. Appearance options for the ATS trailers are included in the trailer definition drop down. The last drop down menu is the urgency selection, and it changes how much time is available in game to complete the delivery. Now let's quickly transition to the cargo market option. The cargo market allows you to use your own trailer. You must first have your own trailer attached to your truck in game and then create a current save. Then follow all the steps for creating a freight market job. Please note the pickup point difficulty is how hard it is to get your trailer into the location. However, the long trailers button places your truck and trailer facing the exit to accommodate for a double, triple, or even custom length trailers. Now let's get back to adding and loading the job list. Step 3B, adding and loading the job list. If you have followed step 3A, select add delivery at the bottom. You can see our created job of diesel here. You now have two options. You can copy your single job unique ID at the end and share to another user and then select update game save 
or you can continue adding jobs to the list and share the jobs list unique ID here in the corner and then choose update game save. Huge massive alert. You must select the orange update game save button after you have finished creating your job list. Failing to do so will result in the save not updating. Then you will check out the troubleshooting section only to hear me ask again if you remember to click the update game save button. Regardless of your decision, hit your quick load button and then select the save you edited. Now we will check to see if your job is present in the game. If everything works, your delivery should be auto-selected out of the list. We have here our load of diesel going from Los Angeles to Las Vegas. Hooray! If your job is present. However, please see the job creation help section if your job is not there or you were reset to your home garage. Hopefully, you have now created a job list and can now share the unique ID to any Truckee user. Next, we will discuss importing a job list unique ID. Step 4. Importing a job list unique ID. As mentioned before, Trucky needs a current save. So before opening the dispatcher, hit your quick save button. Then press Alt D. The import dispatch box is where you paste a unique ID and then select import. As you can see, the job list has been added to the bottom. Remember that you must choose update game save in order to update your save file. Go ahead and close out the dispatcher window. Use your quick load key and select the edited save. Just like in the previous step, check to see if your job is present in the game and your first delivery should automatically be pre-selected. Please see the import unique ID help section if the jobs are not in your freight market. Please note, if you have been provided a teleport code, teleport first and then import the jobs. We will cover the teleport features in just a moment. I would like to take a brief moment to point out this ad. As mentioned at the beginning of the video, I am a Truckee ambassador. As such, I have an ad-free viewing experience that looks like this. I also get early access to pre-release updates and features. You too can have these amazing perks by becoming a Truckee Premium user through Patreon. It's a great way to support this amazing application and its continued development. Step 5. Teleport Features There are three ways to teleport using Truckee. The features available to everyone is called the Position Sharing and is located under the Position tab in the Dispatcher. The other two methods are called Teleport at Location, which are Truckee Premium features and identified by a golden star in the menus. Please note that at the time of recording, the premium teleport features have not been publicly released, but will be coming soon. First, we will discuss the teleport feature available to everyone, position sharing. <coughs> Warning! It is recommended that you be in a non-collision area and that the user teleporting does not have a trailer attached, or else this can happen. Cross your fingers, boys and girls. Hopefully. Hey! No <laughs> Holy macaroni! <laughs> uh, lethal, can you, can you get me down from here by chance? <laughs> now that we've had a laugh at my expense, let's get back to it. Position sharing does require that someone already be at the destination. First, you need to quick save and then hit Alt plus D. Click the position tab and select share current in-game position. This will create a position unique ID code. Give this code to the user that needs to teleport and have them paste it in the import dispatch box in the top right corner. See step four if you need help importing the code. In this example, we will use the teleport code from last night's convoy. It should take us to Lamar, Colorado. Once the code has been pasted in, select import. You must click update game save in order for this to work. Close out the dispatcher screen, hit your quick load button and choose your edited save. As you can see, we teleported to where the convoy started last night in Lamar, Colorado. Please see the teleport help section if the user did not move. Now onto the premium teleport feature. As mentioned before, the teleport at location features are only available to Truckee Premium users. The first teleport at location feature is under the delivery management tab. We discussed how to use this feature in step three. Turning this button on will teleport your truck to the first company in your job list when you save the job and load your quick save. The second teleport at location feature is located under the position tab. Unlike the version available to everyone, you do not need someone to provide you with a code. First, you need a fresh quick save, then press Alt plus D. Choose the position tab, select your desired city and company. Select teleport. Select update game save. Close out of the dispatcher and hit your quick load button and choose your edited save. The truck should now be at the desired destination. As you can see here, we are now in Carlsbad at the Bitumen. Please see the teleport help section if you did not teleport. And there you go. You know how to use all of Truckee's dispatch features. This is the end of the video for you if you followed all the directions and had no issues. 
If you had any questions for me, please let me know in the comments. Please consider liking the video or subscribing if you've enjoyed the tutorial. I'm live on twitch.tv forward slash that camping guy Tuesday through Sunday, 6 p.m. to 10 ish, and I truck every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I look forward to seeing you all on the road. For those that may need help, the Trucky Troubleshooting section is next. Help one, disabling the cloud safe. Here we are on the edit profile page. I have seen an issue where users have received the error message profile migration failed when unchecking the use steam cloud box and after they select OK. The fix is to move your American truck sim or European truck sim 2 profile from the cloud safe location on your computer to your local ATS or ETS2 My Documents location. I will show you how to move the American truck sim version first, followed by the European truck sim 2 afterwards. First, navigate to your C drive, then program files x86, steam, user data, select your number here, then select 270880, then select remote, then profiles, and here's the number that we want. This giant numbered file contains all of your saves and your game data. Right click this file, go to cut, then we need to navigate to your My Documents American Truck Sim folder. We go to Documents, American Truck Simulator, Profiles, and we're gonna paste this here. Now we need to import your game setting, such as audio, key bindings, and shifter selection. Back up one, go down to Steam Profiles, open the large number, copy all the files in here. You may have less, you may have more. Copy them all, and then go backwards, back to American Truck Simulator folder, Profiles, open up your big number, and paste your copy files here. Without completing this step, all of your key bindings, your audio settings, and your shifter settings will be lost. You will have to reset them all. Now we have one more step. We must open American Truck Simulator and erase the cloud profile. If you notice the longer than normal start time, the cloud save is currently being put back on your computer. The next step is to erase that save. Once you start the game, go to Manage Profiles, Select the one with the cloud save icon here, where it says Steam Cloud Synchronization Enabled, and then select Delete Profile. Select Yes. What is remaining now is your local save. Choose Use Selected Profile. And now we can start the game as normal. You will notice that my vehicle is here, my save is here, and all of my key bindings are still here. Now we will follow the steps to move the ETS2 cloud save file. Start by going to your C drive, Program Files x86, Steam, user data, this number, then 227300, then remote, then profiles, and here's the large number we need to copy over. Right click this number, select cut, and now we need to navigate to your local ETS2 file. Go to documents, European truck sim 2, profiles, and paste the large number here. Now we need to import your game settings, such as audio, key bindings, and shifter selection. Back up one to your ETS2 folder, go down to Steam Profiles, open up the large number, copy all of your files in this folder, back up two more to your ETS2 file, go to Profiles, back to the big number, and then paste all of those files here. Remember, without this step, you will not have any of your custom key bindings, shifter settings, or any of your custom game settings. Go ahead and close this out and now we will launch ETS2. We now must delete the cloud save that ETS2 is currently importing. Go to Manage Profiles, select the one with the cloud save icon that says Steam Cloud Synchronization Enabled and select Delete Profile and then Yes. Now you're left with your new save. Select Use Selected Profile. Now we will check the game settings to make sure everything is still working. As you can see here, all my custom map buttons are here in the secondary column and my shifter settings are here. Special note, the file path for your local ATS or ETS2 location may be different if you install your Steam games on a different hard drive. That's it for disabling the cloud save. Help to job creation. Common job creation issues are one, not disabling your cloud save. See step one, setting quick keys and disable cloud save. Two, the incorrect save was selected when creating your job list. See step two, welcome to the dispatcher screen. Number three, you did not select the orange update game save to save your job. See step 3B, adding and loading the job list. Number four, you have not discovered the source city and cannot verify the job. You must drive or teleport to the city to verify the load or turn on the only discovered button when creating your job list. Number five, 
The wrong source city is being selected in the freight market. Please verify the source city by opening the dispatcher, select the latest jobs created tab, and scroll down to the personal job section. Your last 10 created jobs will be here and you can verify the source city and company. Finally, number six, the cargo is incompatible with the selected source city pickup location. This means the trailer is too long for the selected pickup spot. This error is very common with double and triple trailers as well as certain long trailer variants. The solution is to recreate the job and choose a shorter trailer variant for the cargo. If there is not a shorter trailer variant, you can also choose a different source company and hope that it has enough room. If that fails, then all you can do is change the cargo type and try again. Help 3. Import Unique ID Occasionally, a user will receive an orange error box at the bottom of the screen when importing a job list unique ID. It looks like this. It shows you which cargo you cannot import. This error could mean a few things. One, you do not have the appropriate DLC, which means you need to break out the wallet. Two, you do not have the required in-game skill point for the cargo, which means you need to play more and add at least one point in every skill line. The quick and temporary solution is the user must recreate the job in the dispatcher and use a cargo they can access. Lastly, sometimes a user cannot load a specific cargo because it has not been automatically generated by the freight market. Trucking needs a reference point to create the job and cannot do this if the load does not already exist. This issue can be resolved by sleeping in game and thus creating new jobs in the freight market or by changing the cargo to something else available. Help 4. Teleporting The most common teleporting issues are number 1. Not disabling your cloud save See Step 1. Setting quick keys and disabling cloud save Number 2. The incorrect save was selected when you imported and saved the teleport unique ID. See Step 2. Welcome to the dispatcher screen Number three, if you teleported to the wrong location, then the person that gave you the code needs to do a fresh quick save and create a new teleport code. And lastly, there has been a rare instance where the only fix for the person trying to teleport was to drive around the block. I'm not sure what causes these rare instances or why driving around seems to make the teleport work, but it is worth a try if all else fails. That's it for now. I believe I've covered the most common problems and fixes. For additional help, please visit truckyapp.com forward slash KB for a knowledge base concerning all things Truckee. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Please feel free to like or subscribe to the channel if you've enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I am live on twitch.tv forward slash that camping guy Tuesday through Sunday, 6 p.m. to 10 ish, and I truck every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I look forward to seeing you all when I am live. And as always, remember to have safe travels and full sandals, son.